Hello, and welcome back to The Cove with more EU4 Muscovy. Yes, with our relentless push east. So, uh, I've been doing a little bit of thinking between episodes on where is the next best thing to uh, go. So, we're going to wait a couple of days and uh, let some time tick by and get our diplomats back. And I think we're going to start working towards our, our um, integration. So we did get our estate agenda, that's nice, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we have a few more claims, but I think we're going to need a couple more. So I was just tossing up whether we wanted to go for Tiva or for Peskov. Um, I'm thinking what we'll do is uh, we might start out with these guys, just because they could get more easily eaten by others. So let's go ahead and... Start our spy network there. And then out of all of our subjects, let's just check out which one's on the highest. Either Yaros Yaroslav or uh, Rostov. So I think uh, we might as well go for the slightly larger one of the two. Let's do this and make sure that we are beginning to improve relation with them. So we can start integrating as soon as possible. Alright, anything else going on? Independence from Sweden. I don't think we wish to do that just yet. Uh, we may definitely take them on. Oh, hang on a second. What's going on here? Novgorod has gone to war with... The... Hmm. All right, well, that might become easier and easier to uh, eat up later. Actually, just thinking for a second. Who are they allied with? We should probably see. Yeah, I do. Um, hmm. The question is, who do we think is going to win this war? These guys have 8,000. And... You guys have three. So I think Dever may end up winning this war, which actually could be rather good for us. Yeah, alright, we're not going to try and uh, quickly squeeze out any... Uh, any claims on the area, because if they take what we already have claims on, we should do fine. So what I'm thinking is, we'll go to a war with them, and then through that we'll separate peace with... Odoyev, and uh, get them to break their relationship with Lithuania. Then when we do attack them, we can then go against Ryzan and uh, not have to deal with a big, big problem. Alright, so we are still losing a little bit of money. I'm thinking maybe we might drop our mercenaries. Uh, what about that? Let's merge that group together. Let's find where we will not be taking any unnecessary attrition. We have very limited manpower, so best we look after things as best we can. Actually, speaking of which, let's, uh... Yeah, that would be, what, 14,000? That's a total of, what, 36, I think, we have in total. Yeah, we do. Okay. How much do these other nations have? They have 15... We do want to go to war with them. Uh, we also want to go to war with them. I think maybe... Hmm. I don't think Novgorod is ever going to come back, so... Yeah, I think we will go as quickly as we can into war. So we'll bring these guys up over here. Uh, supply limit, where's it? Let's go there. And then we'll also get some uh, rebel suppression going because we do have a couple of cores being worked on at the moment. Might just move up to speed for for a little bit. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, eight appointed lay members. Okay, for strengthening the church. Uh, hmm. What have we got? We can gain patriarch authority. Or we can lose Patriarch Authority and gain some admin power. Let's just check where we are at as far as our religion is concerned. We only have one Patriarch Authority. So you know what? Normally I would say... How does this work? That's right. We can select icons and they give us some bonuses. And if we finish this we get unrest and manpower. But since it's so minimal I think we'll just go ahead and take the admin. That will help with our with all of our pouring. Yeah, I think that's uh, the best idea for us. So let's just quickly chuck these guys on. Or 
ominous rebel suppression. Make sure that none of our new land gets uppity. Select that. And maybe the same with these guys as well, just to make sure that we have those rebels sorted. That should be enough to keep most of them fairly uh, okay. You know what, we may as well include our subject land. I don't think that'll help uh, shorten our uh, ability to look after them, so that should be fine. Alright, let's see. Uh, Moldavia's doing fine. We're still losing a little bit of money. Uh, we do need to move over these groups for some reason. What was the weight limit? Right. Is there anywhere we can take them? Yeah, there is not a great deal of a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Alright, I guess we'll move them over. As long as we're not unnecessarily... Hang on. We also have... No, it's just us. They're not being patched, but why is there extras? Hmm. Alright, fine. Let's just split our troops. Send them over the two locations. If we can stop any attrition, that's important. We need to get our manpower as uh, high as possible, as quickly as possible. Otherwise, we will be in just a small spot of bother. Alright, there we go. 20 spy network. Let's go ahead and we should be able to fabricate a claim. Oh, it's a subject of Muscovy. Oh. Did I really just do that? I apparently just did. Hmm. Okay, definitely not my brightest of movement. Right then, fine. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, Ryzen, who are you? Acacia. Realistically, we can probably fight them off fairly easy, so let's... Uh, do that instead. Actually, no. What we will do is we should influence our subjects. We are trying to to bring them into the fold. So let's go ahead and uh, press the button and go all the way down. We should be able to influence the nation. Uh, reduce opinion. Favors cross. Hmm. You have great power. Okay, so we have to relearn. Ah, uh, yeah, repay our loans. Okay, forgot about that. Let's go ahead and just convert some of our favors for trust. After all, there's no point in having them, and as long as they're on our side, that's what the matters. Let's go all the way back up and make sure that we get that high network a going. Seems good to me. All right. I completely forgot that they were one of our subjects right at the beginning of the game, and I was uh, concerned that the Livonian Order may start working their way towards us, but that is apparently not an issue whatsoever. Alright, how are these guys going with their war? We have... Yeah, Novgorod's looking like they're going to be in a fair bit of trouble. That's not bad. Oh, and we have added in a bunch of land to our nation. Fantastic. Let's have a quick look at our economic map mode. How is things going? Uh, we have a little bit of trade here. That's good. Nothing's going too far. We're not going to have a ton of power. Actually, what we could do is we could create a couple of light chips and get them to start propagating some uh, trade back towards us by, uh, yeah, increasing our power. That could be a useful thing. Thing. Uh, can we really afford it? I think we can. Let's just go and see. Maybe we just make a couple of make a couple of them. Nothing too much. We want these guys. Let's just go with. I don't know. I think three should be enough. Oh, not enough sailors. But, uh, how many sailors can we have? 126. Ooh, good grief. That's going to be uh sometime before anything happens there. Alright then, what else have we got here? Royal... Royal Marriage? Is that one of our subjects? 
Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and accept that. Keep them nice and happy. You know what? We should probably do that with these guys, too. Uh, can we... Oh, no. We have royal ties. So to annex them, we need 190 opinion. Is there any way we can do that and easily? Not at this stage. All right. Let's just go ahead and make sure that we've royal married the rest of our... The rest of our people. No diplomats to send either. Right, we are... Okay. But that's fine. It'll be fine. We'll, uh, we'll sort that out in the near future. We're almost at the point of uh, having improved enough. That'll be fine. Let's uh, we'll pause it at the beginning of the month, send off a few things, and then we'll go to uh, annexing them. Right, so we have another diet. Let's see what's going on. What are the options? We have base tax of at least four in Columna. Uh, okay. Possibly, possibly not. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Muscovy supports the independence of Sweden. I don't think that's what we wish to do. Pay off the national debt. That might take us a little while, so I don't think we'll do that one either. And then... Ooh, owned by Muscovy or subject. Ah, that would take us to war with Kazan. Who are they allied with? Crimea and Nogai. Hmm. Well, they have 13,000 and 21. That's, uh... Yeah, 34. We could possibly manage to do this. That would be useful. We could, uh... Start snaking our way across. Hmm. It would be a good use of our mercenaries. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead with that. We need at least one of them. Accepting will give us a claim on the area. And we'll also gain 50 admin power. That's not bad. Alright, let's uh, quickly accept that. We have how many years? 68 so we have 20 years to do so I think that'll be well and truly doable and we'll keep that on the back burner for now after all we do have technology to get through what's that yeah we need a uh, probably need to wait another year or so before we can uh, take tech and I think we probably do that if possible otherwise we will start falling behind and that will not be desirable all right what have we got here send them money or we lose a bunch of loyalty and state influence um 45 dockets can we really afford that our burgers are all right at the moment and what's we're going for the boss tax there so we're not going to get anything there What's our full loyalty equilibrium and all? About 50. Yeah, look, if they lose a little, that'll all come back up eventually. So let's just go ahead and... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think we'll let them uh, be... Oh, wait, that was Cossacks. Never mind, for some reason I... I feel like I read the other thing. That's, uh... Right, that was a mistake. I definitely did want to spend the money. Oh, well. War of the Roses is going on in England. Not bad timing. Only a couple of years in. Good for them, I guess. Maybe they'll figure things out. All right, and what else can we do? Oh, that's right. We're going to now... Wait till the end of the month. And we will pull back our diplomat. And let's go ahead and royal marry... Uh, all of our little, our little subjects. All right, what, have we already gone ahead and done this? Looks like we have. All right, well then I guess in that case, oh wait, um, we should probably double check. Royal marriage, yes, that will be very nice for done. Great news. And let's go ahead and. Uh, What were we going to do? Oh, that's right. We we're going to start annexing our vassals. So let's go there. And 
Where is it? Annex. Okay, so we have to wait till 54. Hmm. Alright then. Well, I guess there's not much else we can do. Let's go ahead and at least use some of our fire network. Where are we? Fabricate claim. We'll go for Ryzen, which is the expensive province. That should be good. And I think we will... Uh, no, I think we'll keep on going and we'll try and get an extra claim before we do go to war. May as well make it as cheap as possible when quarrying. If it gives us enough time to get through to the uh, next round of tech, that would also be very beneficial. Alright, uh, we should also maintain good relations. Let's just go for the uh, lazy diplomats and send them to our own subject countries. Let them do the thing. That should be pretty good. Alright, now we've finished up wars. Ooh, let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, yeah. Under our control, very nice. And I think... Uh, what's going on here? Honestly, I was kind of expecting this war to have finished by now. I wonder what... Oh, no, they do have claims on... Just a little bit. For some reason, they're not pushing the advantage. Hmm. Alright, well, that's a little obscure, but not much can be done. Uh, let's check our true timers. Novgorod is still another 15 years... Uh, sorry, 12 years away. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring down our mercs. I think we'll go ahead and start preparing for war. It'll only be another month or two. And then we can happily uh, take them down. 25. What we're after, right? Siege ability or fort defensiveness? Hmm. Uh, honestly, I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about forts this early in the game. So let's just go siege ability. Make sure that we can base race them as much as possible. I think that is the best thing. Alright. Pull you back and let's make that. Oh make sure we can fabricate that claim and off we go all right actually can we still declare war oh, we can That's all right uh oh lithuania oh bother you got a friend That's fine. all right maybe we're going to go to war with kazan sooner than i thought we have yeah, a couple of claims we can push I guess we can do that. Now let's just uh, integrate some of our some of our armies, and I think we'll get you over there too. Do you guys have any forts? Yes, they have a level three fort in Kazan. I think we'll deal with that after we fight their army. So let's just bring you guys down here. And I think we'll bring the others. There we go, over there. We want to make sure that we can uh, take them on as easily as possible. What about you guys? Yes, you're meant to be over there. Make quick work out of them. Right, so that's 22,000. Do we go for a general? Probably not. We're on... They're on tech 3, as are we, I'm fairly sure. Yeah. Tech 4 would be nice, but unfortunately, if we're to have a look, we are going to be at least, yeah, at least two years away. Oh, well, at least we're close on admin tech, which will give us access to churches. Which is good, because after all, we want buckets of ducats, and the best way to do it is with taxes. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and declare this war. Uh, Crimea and Nogai, I don't think we will... Yeah, we can't reach Crimea yet, although, depending, who are they allied with? Um, Bizarre, Nogai, and Pandar. Okay, well, they're not friends with the Ottomans. When we go to war with the Great Horde, who are... Uh, yeah, I don't know how big Uzbek is. Not at the point of the game, so I think we'll just hold off there. 
we should hopefully find them down here somewhere. Memory serves. But yeah, let's go ahead and declare the war. And uh, at the very least, take some... Uh, take some uh, good development. Actually, we should probably check 15, 9, and 6. Definitely take that. Let's go ahead and start that. All of our allies will be coming in. Let's go ahead and take Kazan. Alright, let's uh, move you in and see straight away where they are at. Hopefully we can... Uh, ooh, last jails. What do we get here? Uh, lose 30 admin, morale of armies, mission and prestige goes up. We do need a fair bit of all of that. Yeah, let's go forward to glory. Let's uh, pick that up. I will admit, it is uh, quite a bit different nowadays playing a game of EU4 while recording and talking. It is... Uh, yeah, hats off to those who do it professionally, like those guys who actually have large YouTube channels, like be it uh, Bravis or Chewy Shoot. It is certainly a whole stack more to keep keep everything in mind when you're doing this. Alright, let's run you guys up there. Let's reinforce. We want to avoid as many losses as possible. Uh, what kind of terrain is, is our steps? Honestly, I feel like we should be able to handle that relatively well. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll lock them into that fight. Oh, uh... Another loan. Should we repay that? Honestly... Hmm, what to do? I think we'll pay off one more of them. But uh, yeah, the rest will have to extend. That's fine. We have enough. Oh, we lost the battle. Oh my goodness. That's gonna hurt our economy. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt. Alright, uh... How did it, oh, I was on speed five, darn it. I did not realize that I accidentally bumped that button. Oh dear, and now we have the Renaissance. Ooh, dookie, dookie. Uh, hmm. Yeah, here I was thinking that we were going to, uh... Oh, they're fighting Crimea as well, I forgot about these guys. Oh dear, I think I have bitten off more than I can chew. All right, well, uh, this is gonna be a very interesting choice. Let's uh, go ahead and invest in a new technology. We will gain innovativeness. So that's at least a good thing, I guess. Help minimize some of our costs. But let's go ahead and take that. Because we're not going to be able to afford much else for now. Uh, what else can we do? Yeah, we really need that military tech, if possible. Alright, well, thank goodness we have mercenaries. Not that that's... Oh, dear. And we got stack wiped. Ah, uh, man. And the worst thing is, we're retreating into this. We have no morale. We can't go anywhere. We're going to get absolutely supported. Yes. That, that's not good. We have uh, we have a Muscovy that has not done very good. I've, yeah, we have done very, very poorly. All right. Um, hmm. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't think I've ever been in such a bad position this early. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to need to take some loans. At least that balance has gone up. That's good. Um, eBay's currency for a little bit of money, or do we go for a regular loan? Uh, let's see. What is our current loans? Three of 300. Yeah, we cannot afford that. Actually, since we are a little bit bigger, I know what we can do. We can go ahead and... We're going to take out a loan. And we're going to do some uh, creative accounting. So we're going to go... Uh, take a loan of... What, one... Two... And a three. We're then going to go ahead and repay some of our loans, 1% uh, burger loans. Now that we've done that, we can go back to the burgers, 
and we will go ahead and take out some more ones with them as that does change with how much development you have we will then be able to get a fair larger sum of money fantastic okay we got money back again that's a start let's go ahead and uh go to pull up some mercenaries let's go let's go with the grand company i think that will be the best thing we can do for now let's go ahead and pull you in uh what's this 11 days yeah let's go and uh pick them up here that's yeah that port zone of control should keep us safe We'll do that, and then we can also go ahead and build up maybe a couple of units. Go ahead and, uh... Yeah, that's a 2,000. Yeah, that's far too many. Let's uh, go ahead and build them up around here. Four. Uh, we'll go five, and then maybe a couple of cavalry as well. Yeah, with any luck. That will, uh, we can regain a fighting force. Also, too, I think what we can do is, since we have so much money, we should probably pay off some of those initial loans that we took out. We do not want those four percenters, if possible. Yeah, we're good. we don't need all of this excess. Let's go. Yeah, I think we'll go not the one percent. Where is the four percent? Here we go. Uh, one of those for 150. That'll bring us back to 350 ducats. Yeah, I think we can make... You know what? No, stuff it. We're going to hold on to them. We're going to wait till we've won the war. We're not going to try and do any more creative accounting. What we have is a bad enough situation as it is. All right. Extra production. That is very good. We want that trade goods. Uh, our little guys. Uh, oh, they got annexed. So it looks like Novgorod has uh, grown a little. Alright, well that's fine. Uh, can we do anything to help get ourselves out of this pickle? I think we're going to go ahead and pick up a uh, church or two. Let's just go with these two. Try and make back a little bit of money. Even if this is going to take us some time. Did we lose? Uh, we should have a... No, we lost our general. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is a very, very bad pickle. Very bad pickle indeed. Alright. But you know what? Uh, hopefully we can make something happen. Alright. We have a trade ship. Let's just go ahead and, uh... I don't think we're fighting anyone on... Yeah, no, let's just go out and uh, set you to... Tech trade. Well, honestly, it makes no real difference. It's only a single ship, but hey. At the moment, if we can do absolutely anything to get us a little bit uh, back out of such a terrible position, we kind of have to take it. Alright, Rebels are beginning to fire in... Somewhere. Hmm. But the good news is they're fighting our subject, which is... Well, not good, but it could be a lot be a lot better. Now we are going about toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They have more cavalry than us, so they're definitely going to be able to outflank us, which is not good. But we should have the numbers coming in here. So if we can just bring all of them together, we should be able to break the... Oh, Odiev has joined a trade league led by Novgorod. Huh. Okay, well, you know what? That's not terrible. It now means we can still get to them, even though their ally has now gone. All right, we'll have to uh, try and use that to our advantage. But yes, we need to break the siege. Minus 35%, so I'm not too concerned right now. Let's bring you guys in. And uh, hopefully we can salvage... We can salvage this... Uh, Massive uh, stuff up of a war. Alright, let's go ahead and we will attach the first army. Uh, we don't have... Yeah, 
not just the Grand Company and a couple of others that are still coming down our way. Let's make sure that we bring them in. But I think... Uh, yeah, we can uh, handle this, so let's just go... ...and work our way towards them, maybe see if we can scare them off. Now we do have the advantage of... Oh no, that's Grassland. Yeah. Shame. Alright, well we need a resounding victory, so maybe we will end up waiting for the others. We are going to be in for some strife. No, no, let's, uh, let's try and take this on. I think we can do it. Uh, hang on a second. We should probably go ahead and order ourselves a general. Uh, give rule a military command. Are you any good? Uh, zero, two, two, one. Hmm. Well, I guess shock is what we want early game. We don't have any fire, so... What have they got? They have a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Okay. Sure. That'll do. Go into battle. Hopefully we can defend our homeland. How are we going so far? We have... Hmm. Some extra bonuses. Attack. Attacker receives 25% shock damage. Oh. I had no idea that that was a thing, but so far we're doing well. We've taken out the morale. And it looks like we at least have a single victory towards us. Yay! Alright, they took fairly substantial losses, but we did take more. That's... That's not a good sign. But we don't have much of a choice. We also don't have an absolute ton of uh, manpower either. I think we are in a little bit of trouble. Alright, oh, actually, I just saw the time. We're going to have to... Uh, Figure this one out in the next one, but I think we'll just wait till our armies consolidate and we can start hunting down maybe some of those smaller stacks and putting the uh, putting the pain back on them. All right, actually, if we can uh, patch out some of the others, let's go. Yeah, Kazan's there. They're over here too. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely in for some trouble. Oh, we do have Rostov, though, on Crimea. So, hang on. Before we do end this, what is their state? A 3% war score. All right. If we can white piece them, we just need one of them to get out of the war, and we may have an all right chance. But uh, we will have to find that out in the next one. Definitely not the cleanest of openings, but hey, we all start somewhere. If you do want to catch the episodes, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I hope we'll play better in the next one, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.